Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to the weekend. It is the Earth Master out here, about 10.37 a.m. California time, Saturday, August 24, 2024. Uh, cloudy, overcast, had some rain this morning here in Northern California. Picked up just about a tenth of an inch of rain, pretty nice, nice and cool. A little taste of fall is upon us. Uh, latest earthquake shows a 3.4 over here across the Mediterranean area. And um, a little larger activity here across the Java Trench. Got a 5.0 coming in here within the last hour. Northern edge here just off the coast of Sumatra. Uh, about 16 miles deep here into the uh, area of the Java Trench. All right, anything going on here in California? Looks like uh, for the most part out here, uh, minimal activity. Let me see what we got here for 2.5 and above. Uh, so far today... Uh, Nevada is still seeing some earthquake activity there uh, and kind of in a big fashion. We have to zoom in to see what's going on. All these are actually above the 2.5 level. So i uh, got a decent amount of swarming going on here. Um, so eight of those are 2.5 and above with the largest being a 3.4 earlier this morning, about 7 o'clock or so. But uh, that's actually some interesting activity stirring up out here. Uh, and stretching across this area of Walker Lake. Let me see if these have been reviewed. Uh, let's see here. That's automatic status, so it's a good possibility these quakes are just um, error quakes popping up here from uh, earthquake activity uh, in the actual zone here that we're watching to the east. Um, you know, when earthquakes pop up here, they have to look at the location, magnitude, and depth, and get a, a De determine a specific location and these look like they're underneath automatic status review uh, for now but over here definitely got a decent amount of earthquake activity stirring up here underneath this area uh, if we discredit those earthquakes over here around Walker Lake we got about 51 earthquakes here uh, and a bunch of threes and twos that's why I find a little odd here is that the earthquake magnitudes have been uh, uh, all over the place the largest so far 4.3 but uh, there's really been no main quake. This isn't the area that's seen the six-pointer back here uh, a few years back. That was further south here across the Candelaria Hills area, uh, northwest of Tonopah. I was down here um, a couple days following that earthquake to see if I could see any fracture zones, any uh, surface rupture, and uh, couldn't find any. But uh, yeah, so this area is north here of that zone, and we got, uh, like I say, a decent amount of earthquake activity stirring up here. I don't believe it's volcanic. Um, looking at the map here, uh, quite a few uh, fault systems that run through this area, mountain ridges, of course, and uh, just coming in with some earthquakes every single day. Whether it's going to lead to something bigger or not, we'll have to watch. Uh, when I pulled up historical data here for this area, there's not a whole lot of large-scale activity. Uh, far as historical goes of course we don't know you know three four hundred years ago what took place or even a thousand years ago uh, so the earthquake catalog book here that the usgs utilizes uh, is only limited to what has been discovered um, and researched so who really knows if maybe something bigger is brewing out here in terms of larger scale potential there's uh, quite a few fault systems out here through nevada some that may not have been discovered this area looks like, um, well, there's nothing listed up here on the map as far as fault systems go. But again, pretty decent amount of earthquake activity here in the last seven days. Uh, and more so last night. That's when it seems uh, seemed to uh, really picked up there with uh, magnitudes above the 2.5 level. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Um, further down south here across Southern California, I don't see, well, there's actually a 2.7 here near the Ocotello Wells area at the southern end of the Elsinore Fault. A little bit of swarming going on down there as well. A couple earthquakes here towards the Salton Sea area. Nothing big going on across the San Andreas Fault for now. Uh, the Puente Hills Thrust Fault here across Los Angeles is uh, quiet. Nothing going on for now. And uh, we'll just continue to keep an eye here on the west coast, see how it plays out. Uh, the rest of the country out here, scattered earthquake activity across the uh, a new Madrid seismic zone and into the um, Alabama and northern Georgia area to some very small microquakes. As far as anything uh, going on uh, in terms of large scale potential worldwide, uh, looks like the largest magnitude so far today is going to be this 5.0 coming in here 
as I mentioned, just off the coast here of Sumatra, northern edge of the Java Trench, uh, the largest earthquake so far today. Hawaii out in the Pacific, still seeing some movement out here, but uh, not quite as active across the Kilauea Volcano, which sits right about here. But again, another area that we're watching, right? Because of the uh, inflation that's going on out there quite a bit. Uh, over here across the Kamchatka Trench, a little swarm of activity here. Most of these from yesterday, although we did have a 4.7 around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. It seems like that's when everything all started stirring up out here. Nevada, um, Southern California, seen a little bit of activity. Uh, it seems like when the Pacific Plate moves, um, it moves accordingly all around. And it seems like everywhere it gets a little earthquake or two, roughly about the same time period. Uh, let's see, nothing else going on here across the uh, Atlantic. Pretty quiet. Still got Iceland up there uh, rumbling a little bit. Let's see what we got here from the live from Iceland site. Let's key that up, see if there's anything uh, major going on here. That's That view is actually blocked here, it looks like. Um, let me pull up this one, see if we got any visual fountaining going on. Looks like it's died off here completely. Obviously, there's still going to be some uh, volcanic gases there for an extended period, creating a little bit of uh, uh, cumulus clouds there from the heat and the uh, the volcanic gases. Look at that, creating its own weather above uh, the fissure activity out here. But as uh, far as fountaining goes, it looks like it's died down. Goodness. Let's see, and that was a short, uh, very short eruption. Let's see what we got here from the Icelandic Med Office real quick. Let's see if they put out any updates here or not. It's a weekend, so more than likely, uh, looks like they did. Uh, the eruption seems to have stabilized last night, meaning that uh, could be over. No seismic activity is measured near or south, near Hagafell or Grindavik. Um... still shows that the activity is confined to two places on the northern fissure that opened last night but I couldn't see uh, uh, I didn't see any this is old though that was earlier so it's possible uh, this eruption came to a halt here <coughs> and they haven't updated it yet but we'll have to check back on that uh, if so that's a very short-lived eruption there across that area goodness all right, quick glance here at space weather activity. Not uh, too much going on here for flaring. Uh, we've dipped back down into the sea flare category, as noted here on the graph. Not a whole lot going on. Um, but we still have the potential here of seeing uh, some flaring from a couple different sunspots out here, mainly 3800. That's going to be this area that's been popping off some sea flare activity. Although it looks like it's starting to stabilize a little bit. I'm not noticing that deep difference in colors here across the magnetic structure. Um, and really not a whole lot of other areas of major interest. Maybe this region right here, but it's, uh, it's hard to say. I don't think we're going to see anything major from, uh, any of those sunspots. Just a, uh, maybe another C or M flare. 15% chance for the X flare, but I doubt it. Um, no major roars in the forecast here, folks. Uh, Storm Prediction Center out here. Uh, nothing in terms of severe weather, uh, maybe a marginal risk out here across areas of Colorado for some wind and uh, nothing for tornado, just a little bit of wind threats out there, a little bit of hail maybe as well. All right, uh, yeah, like I say, we're, we're getting some much, much cooler weather out here in California. Goodness, I'm loving it. We got low pressure system out here keeping us uh, nice and cool. It's in the 60s right now out here, middle 60s. And um, let's bring up the weather radar. Still a few light showers out here near me. We're expecting some thunderstorms later this afternoon. Uh, satellite view shows that area of low pressure out here. That's been uh, spinning off this area. I'll put this into motion here and you guys can see the uh, development of this very deep low pressure trough here. And with the position where it's at, uh, a little bit later on we could see some thunderstorms brew up here. Uh, in this area. I know we have had a bunch up here across Redding early this morning uh, that fired up, but uh, there is some rainfall with this, so that is good. Hopefully we'll, we'll not see any uh, lightning or uh, any fires start up here due to the lightning, but uh, there's a lot of rain falling out here. 
So that is good news with respect to starting any new fires. All right, folks, uh, just keeping this update a little short here. Um, let's check out the seismos real quick here. Open up the right window. Uh, Bakersfield, still seeing a couple small spikes there. But really nothing major going on across the graphs for now. I uh, hope everyone enjoys their weekend. And if you're out here in Northern California like me, enjoy the cool weather because it's going to start cooking again tomorrow and next week with highs above 100 degrees. So we go from uh, mid-60s back up to above 100 so I'm going to get outside and enjoy this cool weather while we have it. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Stay safe.